It was just four days ago the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff stood here and told reporters military researchers were working on a coronavirus vaccine. We immediately asked for interviews to bring you that information and today those researchers gave us details. We aren't allowed in the Maryland labs just yet, so this is video given to us by the Department of Defense. You know, regrettably, because one seems to come you know, every year or so, we're getting very good at this. Here's where that work stands right now. Scientists say they are looking into how mice respond to potential vaccines. They're not examining if they protect against COVID-19 yet, but how mice respond to them. Officials believe the earliest they'll have a vaccine for the public is 12 to 18 months. It's complicated, but here's the simplest breakdown. Think of this as the virus, my fist, you know, it's a sphere, <laughs> right? And it's got little spokes coming off of it. That makes it the corona. When you look at it on cross-section, it's got that crown look to it. So almost all the vaccine candidates out there are focused on that little spoke. Once they figure out how to prevent that spoke from attaching to the body, that's what will make for a good vaccine. This is not new research. These scientists were the first to test the Ebola vaccine. Malaria drugs came through here. It hasn't always been easy. Last summer, the CDC shut down the lab at Fort Detrick because of structural defects. The commander says there was never any danger to the community, but changes had to be made, and the lab was restored last month. Now they're able to work the coronavirus at all levels. We're supporting a whole-of-government approach to detect, prevent, and treat COVID-19. This isn't just about a vaccine, but also treatment. The general said they are working on an agreement with an industry partner on that aspect. We are working to get you more information on that, and we'll put it in this story on the WUSA 9 app and website. At the Pentagon, Laura Geller, WUSA 9.